Hey, what's going on, ladies and gents? Welcome to another Genshin Impact video. I'm going to be making a video about Albedo. Albedo is rumored to have a rerun coming up soon, and I wanted to make a video on his builds and why he's probably the easiest character to build in Genshin Impact, and why he's one of the most fun as well. Um, I personally still didn't build him fully. All I have to do is increase some of his talent, and I think I'll be okay. Um, he's currently sing sitting at 155 could be dramatically increased. So Albedo is super easy to build. I don't think many people share some of the stuff that he has. Uh, for example, you know, he's a Geo character, so you gotta go to the Geo Hypostasis, as well as you need Cecilia, which you get from Mondstadt. It is found on the Star Snatch Cliff. Super easy stuff to get. And this is also pretty easy just by defeating some Samus Gerald's. All right, so he scales off Geo Damage Bonus, and he is a really weird character to build because his best in slot weapon is actually a three star weapon i don't know if you guys heard me right there <laughs> but his best in slot is a three star weapon because he he's usually not on field that much you use his elemental skill you use his elemental burst and you're out of there and uh, this weapon increases his crit rate by 28 percent as well as crit damage by a lot but his base attack is pretty low because of this weapon but it is very very easy to build and cost really cheap and doesn't really cost that much all right so i'm currently running the noblesse oblige as well as the archaic petra archaic petra giving the 15 percent geo damage bonus as well as the noblesse giving some burst damage as well um you can run him run him in many different ways but currently this this is like my whole sub build i'm running crit damage helmet with some defense percentage um, the elemental master kind of sucks there, but uh, I don't know. I just threw anything on him and it's pretty viable anyway. Um, geo damage bonus on here. He has a defense percentage on this one. Um, he has a pretty okay flower here. Has a lot of crit rate on it and a okay HP flower. That's it. You know, I didn't have to do much, but it works. He's on C0. His sounds are not that great. But this character is pretty awesome still. His attack is at 1,100 and his defense is at 1,400. Uh, obviously, you don't really need a mentor mastery on him. But as you guys can see, it's some pretty decent stats. So if you guys can see here, it's 20% on the crit rate. That's because I took some damage. Since he is at over 90% over of his HP, we go over here. We can see that his crit rate is at 48.2% which is a significant increase from 20% obviously and it's almost at 50. Um, I would recommend myself to get a crit rate mask but I can't bother going to the you know the geo domain it's not really good and I, I really don't want to bother with that so that's what he's currently running and he's pretty good at it anyways. Um, so why we want to do some defense on him is because this right here is actually a defense scaling skill. And I don't think there's a lot of characters that have defense scaling skills other than Geo characters themselves, such as himself and Noel. And I think maybe Jin Yan, no, don't quote me on that, but as you guys can see, it's 177% on his defense. And the skill damage is 173, obviously this is just because my talent level is low, but it is pretty good. Um, his normal ultimate though is not defense percentage at all, but rather it is you know just damage itself and it's at it's off attack all right um his talent is pretty interesting to me because 25 percent more damage to opponents whose hp is below 50 percent not that greatest thing ever but still works i guess and uh you also have this which increases elemental mastery to nearby party members which is actually pretty good oh so, uh, i do like that one all right uh let's just do a little bit of a showcase for you guys and uh yeah Alright, so I do enjoy having him on this team, but obviously this is not for a free-to-play friendly team at all because, you know, there's four or five star characters here. So what we can do is add Bennett over here instead. If I can bottom, we can add Bennett here. So yeah, this team is also okay. However, what you can do is you can use a Shangling, Albedo, and Diona team if you want it to be, you know, extremely free-to-play friendly. So yeah, you could use this uh, Albedo, Jangling, Diona team with Bennett, of course, as the healer and or buffer. 
This team is actually pretty good if you want. Um, Albedo has a talent to increase elemental mastery, so Shangling is going to deal much more melt damage with Diana as well. So this is a pretty good free to play option. However, I still do prefer my Zhao team, which uh, is way more fun, let's be honest. <laughs> so let's just run this for now. So I find it a little unusual to do a showcase for Albedo because his whole thing is not to be on field. And it's a little bit unusual, but as you guys can see, the the damage that I do with the Fatal Blossoms is pretty significant, actually. And uh, that's the beauty of it. As you guys can see, pretty insane. Um, very, very good damage overall. And why he's really good in this team in general, because um, Zhao really benefits from the, you know, the Geo Resonance with the attack bonus if he has a shield on, which I currently you know don't have anymore but uh yeah and then just the extra damage that he does from the faith of blossoms as well you just get in use your ult get out pretty much all the time and then you're pretty much good to go but yeah super easy stuff um he's an enjoyable character to use um i personally went for him a really long time ago and i don't really regret that decision at all so yeah, I mean, that's pretty much it. Um, Albedo might make a return to Genshin Impact very soon in the patch 2.3 update. Let me know if you guys are going to be summoning on him or if you're going to be skipping him for a certain uh, other character that might come on the second half of Genshin Impact patch 2.3. Let me know in the comment section down below. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you guys did enjoy. If you did, consider liking this video, subscribing to the channel as well. See you guys in the next video very soon. Goodbye.